Oh man, I drove by the wrong place. Oh, hello folks, welcome back. For I'm the one, I'm the only, I am Hobo Tom. The heck? Might be wondering why I'm wearing a Bullet Club shirt. Mainly because this was the cleanest shirt I found on the floor today. Yeah, I just did my laundry. I'm kind of at work, so if I do seem distracted every 10 minutes or so, yeah, I do have to get some work done. But that's okay. I'm finally all cut up. Yesterday, I put up my trifecta of raw videos. Which probably no one's watching because they're old. I can cross this off the list, too. That's, oh, wow. Oh, some news and notes. Uh, let's see here. Where to start? First off, breaking news. Jeff Hardy is currently in a Daytona Beach jail. In fact, I know where it is. It's honestly about 15 minutes. Yeah, that's actually the right direction, too. It's about 15 minutes away from my house, um, right across from the Tanger Center. I don't know how long he's going to be there. All I know is that he was picked up Monday morning at 10 a.m. for drunk driving. Uh, I think he blew like a point. I always forget if it's oat. Yeah, point two nine. I think zero point two nine. I think. Um, which is three times. I think the legal limits point. Eight. So yeah, yeah. People are saying it's greater than three times the legal, legal limit. So that makes sense. So yeah. So point two nine. Yeah. Point oh eight is the legal limit. Um. I wonder. I wonder if they call it a detention facility, like the way they do, like the local health facility. I wonder if they call it the local detention facility, jail. But yeah, he's literally like 15 minutes from my house. That's cool. Or somewhat cool. For the all the wrong reasons, um, Jeff hasn't been right ever since probably that one table ladders and chairs match he had years ago against the Dudley's Edge and Christian. I just say, what, what was he doing here? Um, supposedly he got on the, I, the I4, I, uh, I4, I-95 interchange he was wobbly and this was a bad week to do it because a bunch of truck people got arrested so yeah no well no bueno to Jeff um, so that's the first big part of news uh, the second thing is that there's gonna be a weird schedule this week my gym all of a sudden became short-staffed so I can't go to the gym anymore at the early morning, very late night hours. I go late at night and stay to the early morning hours. I don't want to miss ridiculous amounts of the gym. So that's just no point. That means I get fat. And that's not good. Yeah, because I have been losing weight a little bit. I think, I, I think I've been putting on more muscle because I'm like... Gee, what's this weird indentation in my arm? It's like, yeah, what, what are these things? What are these striations? What's this? Is this, like, muscle? I haven't seen that in a while. There's my, there's my typical tan line, too. But yeah, it's like, see, look. You can see, like, defined stuff. It's, it's weird. It's not necessarily the bronze god that... Well, I'll talk about that later. Um... So, probably what's going to happen, only because it's AEW, this show's going to be kind of weak. There's going to be no Jeff Hardy, no CM, no CM Punk, probably no MJ. There's going to be no one. That is going to suck. So, Wednesday, I'll probably take a day off. Later, later tonight, in about less than four hours. I will be doing my typical NXT review sh watch along show. Um, Wednesday, I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna watch AEW. I do want to meet up with her though. That would be good. And I'll be working for Pearson. Be doing my work. 
I have not screwed up, or I screwed up only once today, but it wasn't that bad. Um, Thursday, only going to do the one video. That's the double prediction. Friday, I am going to make the S SmackDown video, because that should actually be entertaining. Because I think it's going to be Riddle versus Roman Reigns. Put down Pearson too. What else do I have to do Friday? Don't have to go to the bank. Probably have to do that Saturday. Because in Saturday it's going to be Triple Mania. Although one video I will, I, will, uh, I will be putting out on Thursday. I will be making predictions. Yes, Brother Nero. I knew you'd be back. That sounds terrible. Especially considering what happened to, to poor Jeff Hardy. Yeah. It's easy. I'm kind of glad they did it because that's one less drunk person to, to run me over when I'm doing my other job of hoboing. So yeah, that's good. Um, so Saturday is going to be the AAA. Sunday is going to be Slammiversary. We'll see what happens next week in the gym. See if they get their head out of their ass. I either just don't assign four people there at one time. Um, the following week, there is going to be the 26th. There's a show. Oh, also, the 24th. I'm going to see NXT. So eventually, probably in about a week and a half, there will be live NXT content from the one, the only Hobo Tom. Um, I'll determine how good it is, see if it's worth going back to. I haven't been to the Armory up in Jacksonville. I know in Sanford it's okay. Um, I prefer it here in Daytona Beach. It's a much better setup. We'll see what happens at the Armory then. Who knows? They might surprise us and just bring out folding chairs or whatever. I don't know. We shall see. I get my face back to the other booze, beverages, boom, bath towel, bath soap, and body spray, and chocolates. That's always a good thing. Um, yeah. So with all that being said, let's, let me actually take a look at one thing. Actually bring this up. Yeah, I can do, I can... Hyper task. Let's see here what this says. Um, our love, our beloved copper shiny pennies. Everyone likes pennies. In fact, I have to do that too. I have to. Oh, that's an easy one. As well. Show me the money, honey. There we go. Oh, yeah. Baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Ba baby, baby. No, my numbers. That's actually are really good for a change. So rare. But yeah. Um, let's see here. Ooh, that's a long one, too. So yeah, I got some time. So let's also talk about some Monday Night Raw. Wow. Um, there was a lot of nothing going on, although they are getting things ready for Money in the Bank. Word of warning, I will not be able to cover Money in the Bank because I have to work that night. Uh, that's the third. I'll be working at the Soccer Fest. Jeff Owens, $99 to get into. Man, that's bonkers. But it is what it is. Ooh, I gotta get started. So, Monday night, raw. Uh, starts off with the Miz TV. Paul Heyman's his guest. Riddle shows up. Uh, the Yusu show up. Paul Heyman says, "Matt Riddle, you'll get the one chance to take on my tr our tribal chief. And you'll have that one moment to acknowledge him. And if you do not win both titles from him, you're done. That's good. Because that'll set up something with Randy Orton, I hope. While Cody heals up. By the time Cody Rhodes comes back." That should be, I forget how many months or weeks they said. I think the average is like six months. Because you just have to let things just repair themselves naturally once it's reattached. John Cena, the same thing happened to John Cena. He came back in like four. 
But he's like Wolverine though. So he should be ready. Not SummerSlam. That's way too soon. Uh, maybe Survivor Series? So yeah. That would be good. Cause then Survivor Series. SummerSlam. Um, Roman does something with a rock. WrestleMania. WrestleMania 2023. You could see Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. That would be pretty cool. That would be a nice long title run too by Roman Reigns. So yeah. Oh, I digress. So here's our first match. Talked about the Jeff DUI again. Um, Montez Ford versus Jimmy Uso. This was a good opening match. I'm shocked. I know Ford is, I think, married to Bianca Belair. I'm honestly shocked that he actually wears, like, the metal ring inside the wrestling ring. Like, if something happens to that finger, I know that we were never allowed to wear rings and stuff for wrestling or football out of pure fear that like if you injured so you have your if you have your ring here let's see here yeah there we go if you have your ring here something that happened here this whole area swells up then they have to go choppy choppy to get the ring off because that's not good you need that circulation I know a lot of wrestlers they just put like a piece of tape around it that's close enough uh, in the NFL, I think they have like the rubberized rings. Again, if it's rubber, it can expand and contract a little bit. So again, if you have to, you can take a freaking screwdriver or something, or even just say, you know what, we're, we're losing the ring. You cut it off. You're not cutting metal with metal. Um, you can, but that's not as practical. It's taking like little scissors and just going snip, snip. Like you have to get the, the, the tin snips then. But yeah. So I'm shocked about that. Um, this was a classic start. Kind of, they tie up headlock, rope running stuff. Classic stuff. Ford, Ford gets so big ups. I don't know how he does it. He gets that big drop kick. Uh, Jimmy Uso to the outside again. Uh, slowing the pace down a little bit. Bringing it down to his speed. Uh, he sends, J Jimmy Uso sends Montez Ford into the corner. Big Irish hammer. There was a suplex spot on the apron. That looks nasty as always. Ford hit a back body drop. That looks so good. Um, looks harder on him though. And then we saw... <laughs> no, not that. A little super... See, look, muscle. Muscle. So I don't know if I'm losing weight or just muscling out. Muscle. Or, no, super kick party! By both... Um, Ford hit a good spine buster. Jimmy launched himself onto the post. That was funny. However, Jimmy got the knees up when Ford did that big splash. That has to hurt. I don't care how well you brace yourself. You take knees to the gut after getting the height that he does. It's not like me just like falling down on you. He gets like another, I'll say two to three feet in the air before he does his jump. Man, you eat those knees, and the, it, that hurt me. Ouch. You know what? This was a good surf and turf match, though. A great, ray, a great way to start off Monday Night Raw. Uh, from there, get a little, um, interview, little interview with Seth Rollins, AJ does not like whatever Seth is selling. AJ said decides to beat him up during that whole interview process. Oh, I love easy ones. There we go. Uh, then we had Becky Lynch versus Dana Brooke. This match never started. Um, Becky just stomps and tosses Dana on the outside. Eventually, Asuka comes out. It's just a it's just a brawl. So that means we gotta fill the piece of toast. It was a no contest. So yeah, oh, I should do that too. You might see tonight. You know, I might start to building the um 
Slimeversary cart. Look at to see what goes on. You have the computer screen. Why do you want to yell so much when I do this? It's because I work and take naps all day long. Terrible. I found that I found that rhythm where I can score two papers every ten minutes and take a ten minute nap. It's terrible. Uh, so then next we had Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss taking on Nikki Cross and D Drop. Um, this was okay. Nikki Cross came out in black um, anti-superhero gear. No, it's, it's still not doing it for me, Nikki. You have to come out with like holes in it, have it like unwashed, have it look filthy. So that way you can tell, yeah, you're a fallen superhero, not just show up in black and gold, the blue and gold. No, it has to be torn, holes, strategically placed holes in it um like a t-shirt on underneath just come out the way the bastard neville came out when he lost his belt to that loser enzo amore that was great it's like he just like haggard like he hasn't slept in like four days that was a good look for neville okay another classic coyote so for alexa bliss looks absolutely tiny compared to dewdrop in fact, Alexa Bliss looks even shorter than Liv Morgan does. Uh, Dewdrop no sells the head scissors. That was a, that was a big awkward moment. They hit a senton, which probably crushed Alexa Bliss. People were saying, I know Alexa Bliss has had a couple concussions. I always, I'm beginning to wonder now if that's really beginning to affect the way she's wrestling. Because when she missed that head scissors, she either like, Dewdrop either said like, huh, doing what? Because she didn't understand what she was saying, or just like say, okay, head scissors, and eh. or just to, like did the head scissors and like expected Dewdrop to know what she was doing. So I wonder how much all those past concussions. I know I've had a couple of concussions. Probably, I've had my bell rung a few times. That's what we used to call it back in the day. Every so often, I either forget something or merge it with something else. I don't know if that's just from concussions or it could. Or me just thinking of things like, yeah, that sounds like it makes sense. It could just mean getting old, too. And just merging memories. Oh, well, yeah, free disk space. I also freed up my computer space, too, today. I was busy. I was productive. Um, Nikki, did, uh, Nikki gets tagged in, a little ground and pound on her live, gets the hot tag. Uh, she starts the kicks. And then the uh, off-the-rope code breaker to do drop. And she has a nice missile drop kick now. Uh, Dewdrop eventually hit the Scottish headbutt. Probably the second best headbutt there is. Um, Liv. Eats a move from Nikki Cross. Uh, eventually tags in Alexa Bliss. Alexa hits that. DDT onto Nikki Glenn Cross. Nikki Glenn Cross eats the pin. Dewdrop and Nikki Cross are not going to the women's money in the bank. It's going to be Alexa Bliss and Nikki and Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. That should be interesting. I think they're with the departure of Naomi. And well, I'll say you know what that match was a cheeseburger match. With the departure of Naomi and Sasha Banks, I think they're setting up Liv and Alexa to be that next champion. Then the next match we have was Kevin Owens versus Ezekiel. Um, Zeke, big spine buster. Very Arn Anderson-like. Good spine buster. Um, the fireman's carry through the steps. That was great. Um, he did that, like, carry. He picked him up in, like, the marriage cradle and just said, whoop. Toss them, fall away, slam. However, there was no stunner. Zeke hits the Zeke trigger. Um, on the outside, he splashed himself against the post. And he, Zeke, the, the end of this match was actually pretty creative. So Ezekiel, he's kind of staggered, but he knows where he is. He gets, he gets in the ring. He's not just say, oh, and Ezekiel staggers into the ring. Kevin Owens stands up, yells at Byron Saxon. And then all of a sudden you hear, 10! 
Oh, it's a count out. K.O. got counted out. He was more concerned about Ezekiel. And next week, we're supposed to see both Ezekiel and Oh, walk with Elias. Oh, walk with Elias. Next week. But this match was fun. Cheeseburger match. Then we had MVP versus Cedric Alexander. Cedric still trying to get back at MVP for kicking him out. Um, Cedric goes right after MVP to start. Omos distracts Cedric. MVP just like literally has his finisher. And that was it. MVP won. Omos and just tosses Cedric Alexander out of the ring as if to say, you don't belong here. Eh. It is what it was. It moves things forward with Cedric Alexander a little bit. You get MVP and Omos in there. Ham, ham sandwich of a match. You know what? No. They could do Cedric better. Can a soup match. Then we had the AJ Styles promo. And that got followed up with a... Seth Rollins promo. Let me see this. Well, bam, what is that? Oh, even better. Then we had another really good match. I'm like, oh, wait, this is not going to be the main event? Darn it. WWE pulled one over my, pulled one over my eyes. AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins. Um, AJ, again, just stalks Seth all along the ringside. Then the black slide and the Okada roll, trying to get that quick pin. On the S outside, he sends Seth into the barricade. Um, AJ tried the over-the-top rope. And, uh, forearm, he missed that, though. Seth then, like, tosses AJ over the tables. That was, um, AJ's an amazing wrestler. I don't care what people say. AJ Styles is one of the best out there. Um, AJ eventually gets like this weird face buster. He wants to go pin Seth. But the referee's like, hey, AJ, your leg's underneath the shoulder. I can't count. AJ kind of looked frustrated and annoyed. It's like, ref's doing his job. Yeah, we all know you're supposed to count to two. Your leg just wound up in a weird place. Worst things have happened to AJ Styles. Oh, he was sporting the, the stitches, though, from whatever. Yeah, and AJ looks like a man. He's a beast. His forehead, his forehead ain't smooth anymore, baby. He's no longer a pure baby face, but he got some stitches in him. Oh, really great Dusty Rose is so happy. Men get stitches in the head still. Ooh, AJ, I got, I got shivers because he got stitches, baby, baby. Yeah, there won't be any of that anytime soon. Adam Cole's not wrestling for a few weeks either. That sucks. And that whole idea with the Bret Hart belt sucks too. They have, they have way too many belts in AEW right now. Way too many. And they still have to bring up the um, trios, trios belt too. Six. So three and a half. That's good. Get some money, honey. We've got your disease. 9.5, probably get 9 point, yeah, we'll see, 9.3, that sounds good, money, 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 31 hours, wow, that's impressive, over four days, yeah, wait, where was I, um, yeah, Seth then hit a super kick, AJ locked in the calf crusher, AJ countered the buckle bomb with a suplex into the buckle. He's like, no, Seth. I saw what you did to Sting. That's not happening to me. And there was no phenomenal form. Said Seth does hit the chop block. Then Seth hits the buckle bomb. He, however, missed a frog splash. Um, Seth countered a sunset flip. Seth countered with a sunset flip? That's rare. I haven't seen anyone get pinned in a sunset flip in a while. Maybe AJ was worn down. He has bad knee. Seth Rollins won. He's on his way to Money in the Bank. Minus that one really 
I don't even know if it's a botch. But in that one little spot, this was still, I'll tell you what, a surf and turf match. I was at my pretty close to that half hour mark. I didn't want to go over and make my computer like freak out all of a sudden. Um, and then I kind of restart my mental clock too. So we had Riddle versus Champa was next. Champa the slingshot into the turnbuckle. That was different. Um, Riddle had Champa going at first in a Jujigatami, then transitioned into a triangle in the in the corner, and Champa. Just kind of lifts and slingshots Riddle into that bottom turnbuckle. Again, I will always await award creativity. Uh, then he then he stomped the foot. If your opponent's not going to wear shoes, it makes sense. Everything Chiampa does, for the most part, makes sense. And that spike DDT. Uh, Riddle eventually had the draping DDT. Uh, Chiampa just then uh, gets Riddle on the mat. He begins to split the toes apart. I can't even do that because I can't bring my toes up here. But yeah, like like the classic, ah, finger break. Except for this is with the toes. Again, if you're not going to wear shoes against Ciampa, he will take advantage of that. Uh, then, he, then he drives the toes down. That had to hurt. Uh, not a lethal move, but if you've ever stubbed your toe, that's what it looked like. It was like a assisted toe stub. And if you've ever stubbed your toe in something hard and you didn't know about it, ouch, that does hurt. Um, eventually, Riddle hit the floating bro, then an RKO out of nowhere. Bro. Riddle wins. Gets some momentum. Oh, this was another good match. Surf and turf match. And then we had Bianca Belair interview, and then Judgment, and then Rhea Ripley from Judgment Night or Judgment Day. I just keep on thinking of the movie. Yeah, shows up and starts just I don't know yapping. And uh, then we had Chad Gable versus Mustafa Ali. This was a really good technical match. Actually, if it wasn't the the length, actually this was I correct myself. Minus like the one match, this has been a really good wrestling show. Chad Gable versus Mustafa Ali, very technical. Ali, he shooshed Chad. That was kind of funny. Um, Chad takes advantage of Ali being distracted by Otis. Otis is just a beast. Uh, he had, he had uh, Chad had Mustafa Ali in the bone arrow, and then a straight jacket suplex. I have not seen that in a while. That was really good. Uh, Chad, however, missed his moonsault. Um, Ali then, again, with that, that gives Ali a chance. He did the tornado DDT. However, now Otis gets involved. As Ali goes to pin Chad Gable, Otis begins to pull Chad Gable out of the ring. This is, of course, a distraction as Ali all flustered. Um, he did the one German suplex. Held on, did that nice, slow avalanche German suplex, and that was enough to get the pin over Mustafa Ali. Cheeseburger match. And then let's see here. Um... Then the last match, and I thought they were going to put this on a lot sooner, it was Rey Mysterio versus Veer. Rey was doing the smart thing to begin with. He was kind of sticking and moving. Get his little kicks in, run away. Very smart, because Veer is freaking huge compared to Rey Mysterio. Even though Veer is probably more of average size for a pro wrestler, Rey Mysterio is just short and small. Ugh. It's almost time for garbage time, too. That's the best. 
Um, Veer, that shoulder tackle looked vicious. And then he, he just threw Ray along the mat, baseball slid him, raspberry slid him across the ring, out of the ring. Uh, Veer, he missed that big elbow drop. However, Veer hits that like knee to the guts, like picked up Ray Mysterio. He's like, oh crap. He was, he might, Veer might think Ray's a lot lighter. And I know this happens a lot. Like, there are stories like Bobby Lashley would just like randomly pick up people. Like, like for suplexes, he could just straight up pick you up. You don't have to jump up or, or assist in any way. There was a story, um, Jim Cornette was getting ready for, for a, a body slam. And he tore something in his knee or ankle. So when he planted his leg, he's like, he didn't realize that the Bobby Lashley was just going to dump him flat on his back anyway. Jim Cornette made the mistake, over-rotated, hurt himself. Veer, I think, realized that as well with Ray. Where he's like, oh, he's a lot. Or he picked him up, he's like, oh, oh, oh. Spinning, twirling, he's like, I better drop him somewhere. Safe. So I'm like, I didn't realize you were that light, Ray. Or, you're, or Veer is, of course, being that strong. So that was a... And then um, Veer... Again, goes to the outside, beats up Dominic. Hits... puts Actually, the clutch is looking better now, now I see it. The um, cervical clutch looks actually pretty good. I'll tell you what, not a bad match. It was actually a pretty good match. Veer had his few moments of weakness, but it was tempered. Just right. Cheeseburger match. And then for the main event, we have the pose down Bobby Lashley and Austin Theory. Austin Theory is yapping a lot. Uh, Adam Pierce says, yeah, you will do this or or you will be fired. Or some, or you will just, I will disqualify you from this. Whatever. Um, so yeah, it was a pose down. Austin Theory is jacked. This is Bobby Lashley we're talking about, though. Bobby Lashley's a beast. And... I'll tell you what. Of course, Bobby Lashley won. That was never going to be called into question. Um, Austin Theory did get did get over. He sprayed him. He, he sprayed Bobby Lashley in the eyes with a oil, kind of temporarily blinded him. I'm pretty sure that was just water, and he's oiled up as is. So, pretty sure that didn't do much to Bobby Lashley other than annoy him. He got selfies in, and that was it. Raw was actually over. I want to say at eleven to one. Unbeknownst to me, the gym closed. Because I was at the gym at 11.10. I saw the sign saying this place is closed. And I'm like, what? That's not cool. Part of me wants to go to the gym. I don't remember. I forget what happens this episode at Farscape, though. Oh, wait a second. I'm working. What am I, what am I thinking about? Ugh. I'm not leaving work to go to the gym. I need the money. Show me the money. Because actually... The 24th, I could earn like 12. That would be good. But yeah, that was a, actually a pretty good entertaining show overall. Again, you have the news and notes. Um, so I don't have to go over anything else. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment, share, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll see you later.